Hello, 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 kids! How are you? How's your week? Are you excited to have our online worship again? Here at Go Kids! So, before we start this online worship, let us ask God for wisdom. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that today we can worship you. Thank you, Lord, for the good health that you have given to all of us. And thank you, Lord, for these kids that you're able, Lord, to um, give them strength, even, Lord, for the whole week in their online classes. So, Lord, we ask for your wisdom. Be with us as we learn new songs and learn stories and learn Bible verses for today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, kids, why don't you stand up? Because we're going to sing songs for Jesus. Come on! Stand, but Iris here just wouldn't ask for your help. <laughs> Typical Iris. She just never changes, even though we were taught Solomon's story when we were kids. Wait, Solomon what? Oh, you've never heard of that, Jewel? Well, let me tell you the story of the wisest man who walked the earth. A long, long time ago, there was a king of Israel named Solomon. He was the son of David, the one who defeated the giant Goliath. Solomon was a good king. 
He loves his people. He loves his father. And of course, he loves God. He shows his love for God by making sure to obey the teachings of his father. But there is something that keeps bothering Solomon. Even though he is a king, he doesn't know how to lead his people. And now that his father is gone, he does not have anyone to ask for advice. But even so, King Solomon continued to fulfill his duties to the best of his abilities. One day, in a land called Gibeon, Solomon fell asleep. When Solomon was deep in his sleep, a dream showed up. But this was not any ordinary dream, as God showed himself to Solomon in the dream. Solomon, you can ask anything that you have desired, and I will give it to you. My God, you have chosen me your servant, a king in place of my father. But Lord, I do not know how to carry out my duties correctly, for I am just a child. Israel, a great nation with a great and numerous people, is the nation you have chosen me to govern. Behold, Lord, your servant is here among your people. There is only one thing that I desire, a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who can lead this great people of yours? The Lord was very pleased with Solomon's response. So God said to him, Since you have asked of this, and not wealth, or a life of free of sickness, or to overcome your enemies, but to have discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have desired. I will give you a wise and discerning heart, fit for a king. Behold, there will be no one like you, nor will there ever be. That was a fantastic story. Don't you agree, kids? Who would have thought that there was a leader of a nation who does not know how to lead? But this doesn't stop Solomon to be honest about himself and ask for help. He acknowledged before God that he is helpless, and God being bountiful and gracious, gave him what he desired. Indeed, a wise decision. Did you know that it is also wise to ask for help, kids? It's true. If we do not know what to do and where to go, we can always ask for help. And there is no one better to ask for help than God, especially if He is the only who could help us from our sins. There is nothing a sinner can do but acknowledge his filthiness and to feel helpless and lost. But God, full of mercy and love, gave us a solution, and that is in the person of Jesus Christ. And everyone who received this free gift of salvation is now free from the bondage of sin and will become a child of God. Indeed, a wise decision. How about you kids? Are you also wise enough to seek God's solution for you? If not, then you have a big decision to make. God gave us free will to decide for ourselves. Let me ask you again, what will you do? Will you also make a wise decision? Oh wow, that was a great story, Bless. See, Iris? It is wise to ask for help, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Come on, go ask her. Hey, Bless. Thanks for reminding me of that story. I confess, I do not know where we are heading. So, can I ask for your help? Sure. Where are you right now? I see. Go ahead for 100 meters, then turn right. After three blocks, you'll get to your destination. Oh, thanks, Bless. I was so glad to ask you. See you next time. Bye-bye. See, that wasn't so hard. And you're right. This ice cream is really good. Yes. 
You're right, Jewel. This is really great ice cream. And I really apologize for dragging you back then. See, kids? This is the result if we will only depend on ourselves. Remember, God gave us families and friends so we could ask help from them. On point, Iris. And kids, while you have the chance, go out and reach out to others who needed your help. That will be your assignment for this week. Until next time, goodbye! Bye. Remember, stay well! Our Bible verse for today is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. This time, kids, you join me. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. For the last time, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. Good job, kids! You know what, kids? If you've already repented of your sins and believed in Jesus, you should be very excited. You know why? Because someday, when Jesus comes back, He will bring us all to heaven. So are you, aren't you excited? So kids, why don't we thank God for what He has done at the cross of Calvary and thanking Him Someday, you'll be with Him in heaven. So let's close in prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done on the cross. And thank you, Lord, that you have given us this assurance that when we die, or when you come back again here on earth, you will bring us with you in heaven. So I pray, Lord, that these kids, they will also share this truth to their friends so that they too will, have, will go to heaven with you someday. So thank you all for this assurance. In Jesus' name, Amen. So we'll be waiting for videos memorizing our Bible verse for today. And don't forget to invite more friends to join us here at Go Kids! Thank you so much kids for joining us. See you next week. Goodbye!